Hey guys, today we're going to check out how you set up the sign up screen. So when you're logging into the apps, what you need to do, you can either use a login or a sign up, and I'll explain that to you in a second. So let's log into one of these apps and come over to your build app section. And the advanced settings. Okay, so we click on that. Now we have two options use the sign up or the login. If we're using the login screen, the, the app only asks for a, uh, an email address and a password and allows the user to get in. Usually, that's the easiest way to go. You don't want to spend, you know, your customers spending, you know, five, ten minutes there filling out a whole bunch of information because it deters them from, from downloading your app. Um, so, that's the easiest, the quickest way to do it. When you click login, their email uh, is, is required and a password, and that's it, and that gets them into the app. If you use the sign up screen, uh, that's where you can ask for, for more information like first name, last name, birth date, uh, phone number. Um, you know, you've got uh, um, custom setting, custom fields you can also ask for. So, whatever the you know specific information relating to a specific business, like uh, maybe a size or shoe size or something like that, or you know, favorite hair color product, whatever you want. So, you can ask for a ton of more information, but keep in mind when you do that, it takes them a lot longer to, to complete the information, fill it out, and then to get into your app. So uh, even though it's only a one-time thing, uh, when you, once you're logged in, you usually stay logged in unless you log yourself out. Um, so it's it's totally up to you as as um, as uh, someone that's setting up the apps. So I'm going to check the. This is easy. So if you if you check the login screen, that's all you do. There's nothing else that needs to be done. If you're using the sign up screen, which we will in this uh, specific instance. Uh, wait, did I hit the update button? Sign up, sign up, and then scroll down and hit update. Now coming back into my app, I've got to go to login. This was the app that I was in. I will log in and I will set up these, go to the settings and set up the login settings. So coming over here, um, the sign up settings are right here. Fields, the profile fields are right here. You can change the colors, the box color, the field text color, uh, all the labels, all the words on the screens are, are manageable or you can change the language there. But this is where we want to go right now to see the sign up settings. So I'm going to be asking for, uh, in this case, I'm going to ask for first name, last name, and let's say phone number. Okay, so I'm going to, and you also have the ability to put these in order, how they appear on the screen. So let's do that. I will say first name should be one, last name should be two, email should be three, uh, password, no, password should not be, password should be five, confirm should be six. Down here, the phone number should be four. So now when I hit the submit button, you will see the order of display has been arranged. First name, last name, email, phone, password, and confirm password. You are also able to make any of these fields required, so mandatory. So uh, if I check the first name here, uh, they won't be able to go any further without entering the first name, right? So they won't be able to complete the, the sign up without that. So it's up to you if it's required or not. Um, once you've done that, um, you're able to go to your profile fields and just you can also arrange the fields that you the information that you want to have in your customer CRM that we've looked at earlier. Uh, so I'm going to have first name, last name, uh, gender, address, uh, birthday is a good idea. And here's where you can add custom fields uh, and phone number. Um, so we've got birthday twice here, but two different. Uh, um, modules that they're being used on, but we will probably be merging this. We'll have one birthday going forward. Uh, you're also able to take a profile image if you want. And again, you're able to put these in any order you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it just to be the way it is. And that's it. So you come in here, you've set your login settings, the sign up settings have been set up, and let's take a look at what it looks like inside the app. So here is uh, one of the apps uh, that we've got set up, and here is the sign up tap, uh, link. So when I click this, uh, this is what pops up. First name, last name, email, password, confirm. So pretty easy to do, pretty easy to see. Um, again, I think it's, it's not too much to ask for your first name and last name uh, and uh, email. So uh, you, the more information you have, the easier it is for you as a business owner to market to your customers. Keep that in mind. Thanks for watching, guys.